Hello, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a while. Remember me? It is the Whispering Gamer. Took a nice long break and I'm back. So hopefully things will go smooth. I took a much needed break. Not just from YouTube, from a lot of things. Felt like I needed to concentrate on more important things. Family, kids, work. But I'm back today and I'm going to bring you guys my most recent pickups. It's been a while since I made one of these videos and I picked up a few things since being away. I'm not going to hold you long. First up we have Spider-Man 2. Already a game of the year contender here. Spider-Man 2, um, I'm taking my sweet time with it. A lot of people finish this game almost 24 hours, 48 hours after release. I have no idea how. I'm taking my time with this. I want to finish it at 100%, but I don't want to know life it either. Be greater together. So far, I love the game. I love the suits that come with it. A lot of people can argue that, yes, it probably is just like the first Spider-Man. They say it's like a DLC, but I don't care. The artwork on this is amazing. The disc is in my PS5 right now, so I'm not going to take that out, but I have been enjoying this game. I think the most recent upload I had was when I unboxed this Spider-Man controller, and I promise you, I did not use this controller until the day I started playing this. I mean, there's really no difference. If you want a quick controller review. It's pretty much the same thing. There's really no difference. I like the feel of it, but that's with every new controller. Buttons are clicky. Everything's nice. So, don't want to use the wrong terminology. But I will say... Spider-Man 2 will definitely be a game of, game of the year contender. Um, I've played a couple hours of it already, and yeah, I think it'll, it'll have a good shot. Will it win? I have no idea. I never understand how these games win. Last year was controversial, in my opinion, but to each their own. Next thing I picked up, was really excited about this one, Sonic Superstars. It's been years since I've played a Sonic game. If you guys ever watched my Nintendo Switch collection video, I have Sonic Frontiers still sealed to this day. I have not played it yet. Maybe I'll get around to it. Sonic Superstars, 3D, love it, I'm loving it, and this is another game where I'm taking my time, typically when I play Sonic games, I try to finish every level as fast as possible, but this one I've, I've really, really wanted to explore, see if that can focus, I've wanted to explore more and just find different collectibles. Super fast, super fun, superstars. I will say that so far, it's been pretty fun. Uh, I really haven't encountered any problems with it. I love the box. I mean, I love things with a lot of artwork and I think behind this you could see some more artwork. Yeah. Now that's awesome. I've played with every character so far and I'm, I'm loving all of them. You know, they all have their, their 
abilities, you know, tails being able to fly high, knuckles being able to fly and climb walls, etc., etc. But really enjoying this game. I'm I don't know when I'll finish, but hopefully not soon. It's been it's been really fun, and I recommend this one to pretty much any Sonic fan or anyone that hasn't really played a Sonic game in a while. This is definitely, definitely a pickup that you need to get. And I did get it for the Switch because I just feel like all Sonic games for me have been handheld. You know, you have the Game Boy SP, you have, well, I guess you could argue the Sega wasn't really a a handheld, but I feel like a Sonic game deserves to be played on a handheld. I don't know. I don't know if anyone is really catching what I'm trying to say, even though it probably looks better on the PlayStation and Xbox, but I thought it'd be more fun on the Switch. But that's just my opinion, again. Last one, and I told you guys, it's going to be a short one. Still sealed. Super Mario Bros. I am so excited to play this. Still sealed. I have not broken the seal yet. You guys can see the reflection of the seal. I am excited to play this. I love every Mario game. I've played pretty much all of them. I don't think I've ever missed a Mario game. This one looks like it's going to be fantastic to play. I mean, there's really... I mean, just... If you see the graphics, and I I played it in Target. I remember I played the demo, and I instantly fell in love. It's just, you know, those classic Mario games that we're used to playing. You know, I feel like I haven't played one since they had that Bowser's Fury mixed with... I forgot what the other one was called, but it was from the Wii U anyways, so can't really say it was an original game so love these kind of games discover the power of wonder descubre un poder maravilloso can't wait to play i haven't even opened it and you know what now that we're here i might as well open it on camera for you guys even though i completely struggle with opening new games I think we've done this before in the past where I've tried to open up games and I'm so bad at doing it on camera I always pull it away from the camera kind of defeats the purpose of unboxing alright First unboxing video ever. Oh, that's nice. Really nice. I'm assuming these are all the lands that we're going to be playing. And it's not going to really focus, but definitely going to play this. Definitely going to be playing this soon, and we'll probably put it on the channel as well. I'll probably play through it by myself first. And then put it on the channel because I kind of want to experience it to its fullest. When you record it, you have to worry if the volume's right. It's just so many other things. So first playthrough has got to be solo. Solo, dolo, no cameras. So I got that. And with that, I think I just got some stickers with it. I didn't pre-order it, but guy at uh, GameStop was nice enough to give me this. It's kind of nice. I don't even know if I should open it or not. And then here's this side. I don't know if that's just a poster. You know what? Let's open this up too, I guess. Might as well not have you guys here. 
I'm sorry if this is probably super loud. Probably just woke up everyone. If they even fell asleep. And of course I can't take it out. The Whispering Gamer. The worst unboxer on YouTube. Alright, yeah. The first one is just a straight up mini portrait, I guess you could say. I still like it though. It still looks really nice. Exclusively on Nintendo Switch. Rated E for everyone. Mild fantasy violence. And then the other one, I keep hitting my mic like an idiot. The other one's just stickers. I don't think I'll take these off. I'll just keep them. These are nice though. Definitely gonna play as Daisy. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Luigi's my favorite guy. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, really, really nice pickups. Sonic Superstars, Mario Bros. Wonder, Mario Bros. Wonder, and Spider-Man 2. Great stuff. If you guys want to see these games be played on the channel, just let me know in the comments below. If you guys are new, leave a like, comment, subscribe. This has been The Whispering Gamer. Hopefully, hopefully, I'm back this time for real. <laughs> Have a good night, everyone.